Hello students of class 4. Today I will teach you a poem, The Sick Young Dragon, written by John Foster. First of all, I will recite the poem, then I will explain it to you. So listen carefully. The Sick Young Dragon, written by John Foster. What can I do? The young dragon cried. Although I have simply tried and tried, it doesn't matter how hard I blow, I cannot get my fire to go. Open your mouth, his mother said, it's no wonder your throat's red. Your scales are cold, you must be ill, I think you must have caught a chill. The doctor came, he looked and said, you will need a day or two in bed. Your temperature's down, no doubt. That's the reason your fire has gone out. Just drink this petrol, chew these nails. They will help you to warm up your skills. Just take it easy, watch TV. You will soon be as right as rain. You will see. The young dragon did as he was told and soon his scales stopped feeling cold. He sneezed. Some spark, his face glowed bright, he coughed and said, the seat's alight. Oh dear, he cried, I have burned the, burned the bed. It's, it doesn't matter, his mother said, those seats were old, go out and play. Just watch where you breathe fire today. The Sick Young Dragon, written by John Foster was born in the year 1941. He was written many poems for children. I think children, you all know what is a dragon. Yes, a dragon is a mythical monster like a giant reptile. In European tradition, the dragon is typically fire breathing and tends to symbolize chaos or evil. So, the poem is about a young dragon who is sick. He is unable to breathe fire as he usually does. In the first stanza, it tells us that the young dragon cried to get back his fire. He tried very hard and he blew and he blew very hard but cannot get back his fire. Now in the second stanza, his mother asked him to open his mouth. She says that his throat is red, scales are cold, so he must have caught a chill, a cold. Chill, a chill means a cold and he is ill. In the third stanza, the doctor came and he looked and said that he should rest in bed for a day or two. His temperature has gone down. That's the reason his fire has gone out. Next, he asked him to drink petrol and chew the nails. They will help him to warm up his skills. He asked him to take it easy, watch TV and he will soon be all right as rain. That means he will be perfectly all right. Now, the young dragon did as he was told to do. Soon, his scales stopped feeling cold. He sneezed, he sneezed some sparks and his face glowed bright. He coughed and set the bed sheets on fire. At last, the young dragon cried out that he has burned the bed sheets but his mother says that it doesn't matter because those bed sheets were old. She allows him to go out and play and watch that where the breath fire today. Now children, I think you have understood the poem. Now you should draw a diagram of a dragon breathing out fire and use 
pencil color to color it. I repeat, draw a diagram of a dragon breathing out fire and use pencil color to color it. Next, do choose the right answer in your book that is given in page number 25. Do choose the right answer in your book given in page number 25. Do the rhyming words in your book from the from the poem like fried, cried, tried. I will explain you the rhyming words in the poem like cried, tried, blow, go, said, read, ill, chill, said, bed, doubt, out, nails, scales, told, cold, bright, alight, bed, said, play, today. Now, you have to make sentences with the following words. First one is ill. I repeat, make sentences with the following words. Ill. Then, chill. Chill. Then, scales. Scales. Then, a light. A light. Then, blow. Blow.